What is going on guys? This is Gains Gaming. Today we are talking about Luce, in my opinion, one of the best commanders in Rise of Kingdoms, and basically talking about how good of a commander Luce really is and why you should definitely be investing in Luce. So Luce should be at the very top of your investment list in 2024. If you run an infantry march, you are 100% running Luce in some scenario. Today, we're going to talk about different pairings you can use with Luce and what I would recommend for the best pairings if you're only running one infantry march, but also if you're running a couple of different infantry marches. So first of all, before we jump into it, Luce finished my KVK with six and a half million kills. If you guys missed the video where I talked about which commanders had the most kills in my KVK, Go ahead and check that video out after this one. But Luce, spoiler alert, he was number one with six and a half million kills. Absolutely dominated this KVK. Literally every single report was absolutely bonkers. And honestly, he is literally just a must have commander. So first of all, if you are running Luce as a primary, you are probably having at least two infantry marches on the field. Personally, I ran Luce and Alex for my pairing, which did phenomenal. I was very happy with how he performed with Alexander the Great. And, you know, I was running Luce primary because I didn't really want to use Alexander the Great primary, even though that would have traded better. It would have been a much bigger target on the field, which is what I was trying to avoid. But if you are only running one infantry march in the field, you are 100% running a Scipio primary with a Luce secondary. This is the best infantry march in the game that you can use right now in 2024. By far the best pairing in the game for infantry and arguably one of the best pairings in the entire game, including cavalry and archers, which is a pretty bold statement, but I will stand behind that statement. This pairing is just so absolutely insane. The double AOE is crazy. And just the amount of damage you put out with Luce and with Scipio is just absolutely insane. I think one of my favorite parts about Luce is that he does damage to five enemies, which you don't get very often in the open field. So when you get that ability, you definitely want to have it. And having the 40% march speed reduction, when you hit somebody, you are just going to melt them because they cannot get away from you because it's not a chance of reducing their march speed. Once you hit them, they lose 40% march speed for three seconds. And three seconds is all you need to obliterate a march in Season of Conquest. So he is an absolute must have. And if you pair him with Scipio Prime, oh my gosh, you just, you, you, you have the extra march speed too, which is even better that you can keep up with the enemy, but then you slow them down and they can't get away from you. Like it is just the best of both worlds. The amount of health you have with this march is insane as well. 100% the best infantry march in the game, and like I said, arguably the best in the game. Now, if you are running two infantry marches, then I would actually recommend exactly what I am running, which is a Guan Scipio and a Luce Alex pairing. Now, you can manipulate that a little bit if you wanted to, and the way you would do that is you would run Scipio with Luce, which like I said, is the best march in the game right now, and then you would run Guan with Alex. And, you know, this is still a really solid pairing. I don't even know where Alex went. There he is. It's still a really good pairing. And I like Guan Alex. I've used it before. I have used it and really, really enjoyed it. Alexander the Great is a killing machine. And people forget about it because they just think that he's outdated, which he is not outdated. He has the most kills out of any of my commanders still, which is kind of crazy because, you know, I have Nevsky that's still 10 million kills away. I have Joan that's still quite a ways away. You know, Hookah Bing is pretty new for me, but he's at 7 million kills. You know, it's it's just crazy how many kills you can get with Alexander the Great. And when I paired him with Luce, this KBK, this is why I'm recommending this. It's because Luce, people don't want to hit Luce, but they will gladly swarm an Alex. Even if it's an Alex Herald or an Alex Luce, they will gladly swarm it. But if they say Luce, they don't really want to hit it because he is a tankier commander. And so if you can run Luce with Alex and then a Guan Scipio, sure your Scipio won't do as well in terms of kills, but you will still perform insanely well with the Alexander the Great pairing with Luce because Alex also brings a lot of utility with his kit as well. You do get the extra shielding factor, which is really, really nice. 
You also get the direct damage factor, which is an instant proc, which is really, really nice. The 30% March speed bonus is phenomenal because like we talked about with Scipio's 15% boost, this is a 30% boost, which is even bigger. And then you also have the 40% attack or 30% defense, which is just absolutely insane that you, you want to have that because that is just crazy good. And, you know, this pairing is just so solid. But honestly, anybody with Luce is going to trade phenomenally because you can pair him with anybody. If you have Sargon, if you have Scipio, if you have even Charles Martel, they will all do well with Luce. So I would say if you are thinking, even considering slightly on investing into Luce, I hope this video at some point convinced you that you absolutely need to invest into Luce because like I said, he is arguably the best commander in the game right now. I think the only commander that could potentially make you consider, you know, pausing on Luce, if you only have enough heads to max one of the two commanders, would be Herman Prime. And that's if you, you know, have a good infantry march, like you have Guan Scipio already, or you have Scipio Sargon already, or Scipio Tariq, whatever you have, and then you only have like one archer commander that you don't really have a pairing with, then Herman would be the way to go. But otherwise, infantry going for Luce right now, I think is a better play than going for Herman. I know Herman is going to be amazing for the open field and helping your kingdom out as well. But at the same time, the sustainability that comes with a commander like Luce will honestly help just as much, if not more, than having Herman on the field. In my opinion, even though Herman is doing a ton of poison stacks and doing a ton of damage and helping your other marches do a lot more damage, Luce is going to stay on the field longer. And ultimately, that's what you want is sustainability on the field. If you can keep marches alive on the field, it's going to be hard to wipe out your murder ball if your marches don't die. But a commander like Herman, that's going to be a little bit squishier, just like Boudica, just like any other archer commander, going to be squishier on the field. And especially when you have cavalry running all over the place on the open field, that is why I recommend Luce as a number one invest in the game right now because of his utility with march speed, because of his tankiness, his ability to be paired with just about anybody and do phenomenal. I think this is by far the number one investment in 2024 that every single player needs to make at some point. Whether it's right now, whether it's when you go into your next KVK fight, you can even run him at 5511 and he is still absolutely insane. 5551 is great. Getting the extra four skill is awesome and I highly suggest you eventually expertise him. But if you wanted to go for 5511, he is 100% usable at 5511 and you can definitely trade amazingly with him. I've seen insane reports with 5511 Luce, which is just crazy. I think arguably he might be the best 5511 commander in the game, which is a bold statement, but I do believe that's true because even though you don't have to expertise him, his expertise is worth the extra sculptures because, you know, you have the chance to launch a basic extra attack, which is pretty substantial when you think about it. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but you know, that's basically a one in four chance. Every four turns, you're going to be doing an extra normal attack damage, which does add up quite a bit, especially if you're doing counter attack damage, that is going to add up a lot. So that is why I think Luce is right now the best commander in Rise of Kingdoms. I know I'm going to get some heat for that in the comments. Feel free to make your argument down below. I'd love to hear what you think. Like I said before, the only one I would consider over Luce right now would be Herman Prime. And then the third one that I would consider would be either Joan Prime or Hookah Bing. Honestly, Joan Prime probably going to take the cake because she is much more versatile with who she can be paired with. But Hookah Bing is an amazing commander as well, and someone that you definitely could consider investing into as well. Running him 5511 is also an ability, but I do recommend that you get the third skill and that you eventually max him out because his expertise is phenomenal. He does not die on the field. But to finish out the video, expertise Luce, get him at least 5511, invest into this amazing commander, and just watch your kills explode in the open field. If you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Luce and if you think he is the best commander in the game or who you think is a better commander in 2024. Thanks for checking out the video. Have a great night.